So the, the process starts at the sites, at the plants, uh, with, the, with the client, with the host companies. Um, we have a lot of contractors come through. Uh, Houston Area Safety Council, HBR, will give us a call and ask us to nominate companies that we feel are doing a really great job out there, who are being safe. As an owner, we want the best of the best. We nominate the best of the best to come to work at our sites. Uh, those companies get invited to, to participate. Uh, it's a lot of work on their part, so they go get their, their books together, and their, their procedures and what they do, some of their best practices. They put them all in a binder. One of the best reinsurances I have is knowing that the contractors that come out of the Safety Excellence Award process are usually going to be the safest contractors we have. It's important for contract companies to participate in these evaluations. It gives them opportunities to go out there, look at best practices, and bring those practices back to their own company to implement. We have a contractor finalist evaluation. That evaluation is made up of several different categories. Each category has several different companies. Um, we have owners, mentors that are involved, and we sit down and evaluate their programs and processes to determine who's actually going to be a finalist. So your evaluator and, your, and your, some of your team support are there, you go through the books, you evaluate, you pick your top three or four uh, companies. The Safety Council puts on an amazing tailgate where the finalists are announced. Once they're selected as finalists, we go into the field evaluation process. Our group breaks them into two teams. We have a field group and a group that stays inside to evaluate the documented policies and procedures. When our team goes out to evaluate companies, uh, we look at a wide variety of things, including all of their safety programs. But in addition to that, we also test the field effectiveness. But when you go out in the field, you find out that's where boots are on the ground. That's when you really find out is this procedure really being implemented out in the field? Do the guys in the field really buy into it? Because that's where it's key. And we compare what they witnessed in the field to what we read and the policies and procedures to make sure that they match. And turn in that information. We turn all that into uh, HBR, Houston Safety Council. They take the tabulate the scores and we get a winner from there. Category winners have taken a step above and beyond what is normally expected for a contractor. Once the winners are determined for each category, we actually have an awards banquet. At this banquet, we announce the best of the best companies. It's a way for everybody, it's kind of like the Academy Awards, CMA Awards, that kind of thing. Everybody dresses up, uh, good food, good conversation, good people. It's really great and it really emphasizes the importance to everybody in there, how important it is to win, but at the same time, have a good feeling about it. As far as best practices go, that's one thing that is definitely not proprietary. We want to share those with each and every person out there, each and every company out there, so we can all improve on our day-to-day -day operations. What sets these companies apart and achieving best in class is taking these best practices and implementing them. Congratulations. 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 